I'd like to use this example to gain some understanding of the meaning of the word percent. Now percent actually means per 100 or out of 100. So let's think of it that way as we work through the information in the example. So at a recent Rats on Rafts rock concert, 50% of the attendees were under 25, 25% were 18 to 24, and the rest were over 24. If 22,140 people attended the concert, how many were in each age group? So let's start with the 50% and see if we can get an understanding of how that relates to the 22,140. I'm going to take 22,140 and divide it into two pieces of 11,070. Now why did I choose two pieces? Well, 50% as a fraction is 50 out of 100. That's that per 100. And if I reduce that fraction, I have an equivalent fraction of 1 half. So at every step of the way here, if I add together these pieces, I'm going to get some interesting results. So a half plus a half is 1. 50 hundredths plus 50 hundredths is 100 over 100. That's 1. 50% plus 50% is 100%. Hmm, that also really equals 1. And if I add together my initial amounts that I took divided by 2, 11,070, I get my original whole, or 100%, which was the 22,140. So I can say that 50% of 22,140 is 11,070, and that was the amount of people in the less than 18 age group. Now let's look at the 25 percent. So if I take again the initial amount, I'm going to divide it into four pieces. That's going to give me 5,535 in each piece. Whoops, that should be 5, 35, 5, 5, 3, 5, four times. Now why did I choose to divide by 4. Well, 25 percent is 25 out of 100. If I reduce that fraction, I get 1 fourth. So we have 25 percent 4 times and 25 over 100. So we're going to kind of do the same thing with this problem that we did with the last problem. Let's see if we get the same kinds of results. I think we probably will. So if I add one quarter together four times, I get one. If I add 25 over 100 four times, I get 100 over 100, which is also one. 25% added together four times is 100%, which is also one. And if I add my 55, 35 together four times, I get my initial amount of 22,140. So 25% of 22,140 equals 5,535. And that tells us the number of people in the 18 to 24 group and the greater than 24 group. So notice if I take those two groups and add, I get the 11,070 plus the 11,070, which was the 50%. And that gives me back my initial value.